What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. So all of a sudden, at age, what, 60, he's just going to break bad? Trucker says, if you can't back a semi-trailer, you need to get up off the road. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Hey, my truckers. So have you seen this latest thing where shippers, or I should say customers in general, are offering valet service? to back your truck up. It's a paid service. Now, if you know Alex Mai from Mother Trucker, um, he posted this on Instagram, and that is a sign in a window that says for 25 bucks, they'll back your truck up into a door. What's happening? I totally disagree with this. If you can't back up, then get off the road. That's just my opinion. But then you're not doing your job. What do you guys think? Drivers, let me know what you guys think about this, man. Let me know your thoughts on this. So this driver says, if you can't back up into a door, you need to get off the road. You shouldn't be driving. If you can't back then you don't need to be driving. If you can't back up, then get off the road. Do you guys agree with that statement? Do you guys agree with her assessment? Like, if you don't know how to back up a truck, then you don't need to be driving a truck, right? Right? If you can't back up, then get off the road. Now, don't get me wrong. Backing is one of the biggest challenges in truck driving. And there's many, many, many situations that drivers would get into. If you can't back up, then get off the road. When it comes to backing into a dock, into a warehouse. My, my thing is this, like if you get to like distribution centers, your backing will probably be a lot more easier than most. But my, my experiences, I, I figured like, some of the more issues where backing come into play is like warehouses, little, little areas with little docks and not enough space, especially not enough, not enough space for a 53 foot trailer and an additional 10 feet for the tractor. If you can't back up, then get off the road. You guys seen, if you listen, if you a dollar account driver, then bruh, bruh, you know some of them back in situations, them, them little small shopping centers with all them cars and you be backing up in a hole in the wall and all like that really, really put the challenge to you. But this driver says, if you don't know how to back, you shouldn't be driving. If you can't back up, then get off the road. And I want to, I want to know from you guys, do you, do you feel the assessment? Now, the initial, the initial thing here, she was talking about companies charging $25 for valet service. And I, I've seen, I, I've seen a couple of companies that does that, you know, shippers and receivers, you know, they, they, they try to get a little bit most out of us. Why not charge a driver? If they can't get in a dock, I mean, if they can't get in a dock or if they can't, you know, get the trailer into the trailer yard, let's charge them $25. This is just another hustle for, you know, to be put on us truck drivers, which if, you know, for like a new driver or something like that, I mean, I don't, I, I totally agree with the assessment. I'm sorry. If you can't back up, then get off the road. I agree with it because there's going to be a whole bunch of companies where new drivers, and I'm talking new drivers, where new drivers are not going to be able to get in the dock. They just not. They're going to need help. They're going to need help. Now, they could ask another driver to help them or something like that, but I'm telling you, they're going to need help. And what these companies are now doing, they say, well, hey, 
you know, we could get one of our yard guys in, in the yard truck, which is a hell of a lot easier. I'm just saying, you know, and we'll we'll back you up into a dollar. But we're just letting you know that, you know, you're going to have to come out of the pocket of twenty five dollars. If you can't back up, then get off the road. Now, some may say, you know, some may frown upon this like this young lady here. You know, she frowns upon it, uh, you know. But others will say, hey, it's a welcoming sight. I mean, some of these areas that we go into, bruh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I just got finished doing a video of a young lady talking about that she couldn't get into, in, into one doc that had a telephone pole. And, you know, and them, guys, them guys know for a fact that some drivers is going to struggle with getting into a dock. Well, here's a solution. And the solution is, well, we'll get one of our yard guys to put it in the dock for you. And, uh, and again, you're going to have to come out of the pocket of $25. If you can't back up, then get off the road. Drivers, let me know what your thoughts is. I mean, do you guys agree? Or let me ask you this question and leave it in the comments below. Do you think they're just trying to gouge us for more money, as always? Hold on. Now, before we get on up out of here, I have another clip for you guys to check out. This, in this clip right here, a female driver says a female driver lets a stranger back her truck into a dock. But let's hear what this female driver has to say about that. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Okay, so what we're looking at right here is a driver. Then another driver bag they truck into they dock. I have heard stories, but never in my four years of driving have I ever seen it out of my own eyes. So, you know, we see all these drivers out here struggling, struggling to get in the dock. So we, you know what we do, we just sit in our driver's seat and we, we look. Then you see that first truck driver get out and they try to help. And then they put them in an even worse situation than they was already in. So that other driver got to go back and help the driver get out that fucked up situation. So then another driver that's in the dock gets out there. See, she got out the truck, y'all, to assist spot this driver in a dock that was for her. Like, I'm over there like, oh, I just can't wait till this driver gets a little close because... I'm going to tell him, hey, she said she got 10 years of experience. Tell her she got it from here. And he listened to me because, like, bro, why is you letting this lady do you like you a student? You're not a student. Like, you got your truck. She got her truck. Y'all, this is a bad look. This is making ladies look bad. We know how to bag out here. It's easy. Ooh, my baby diaper soaked. Again, <laughs> again, <laughs> again, man, again. Now, look, okay, what it drivers, what's your thoughts on this one right here, man? What's your thoughts on this one? Again, the young, you know, the, the, the young lady that was speaking on the older lady that couldn't get into the dock, you probably might not understand the radius of, of a long nose peep because you probably got one of those short nose trucks and it's probably a little bit easier. Maybe this young lady right here wasn't, you know, cap wasn't familiar or comfortable with a long nose teak, a long nose peep getting into the dock. And the driver that actually helped her out, you know, probably has some experience, which looked like he did, getting her into the dock. So why are you sitting here being the camera culture and and over here, you know, complaining about the young lady letting somebody else help her? At least the young man was was kind enough to come down the way to help this young lady. I mean, the only thing that you had to offer was criticism and, and complaints. That was it. That's all you had to offer. You you didn't have nothing else to offer. And you over here saying backing is easy? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Backing is not easy. Drivers, let me know in the comments below. Let this driver know that backing is not 
easy. Okay. All right. Let's jump into some of these comments right quick before we get on up out of here. I'd rather help than seeing them tear up somebody ish. Some people will learn better by watching. It's okay to take help if you need it. This commenter says, I definitely let a man back my truck up any day. This commenter says, I do that all the time for people. I'd rather not get hit again. This commenter says, it happens, sis. It's better than having someone hit someone. 24 years on the road, and I haven't seen it all yet. Trust and believe you will see more. This commenter says, a million, a million mile driver backed into me once. I knew he was a million mile driver because it was written all over his truck. Anybody can have a bad day, even you. Exactly. Exactly. And that's what probably was going on with this young lady by asking one of the gentlemen to back her truck up into the dock. Maybe she was having a bad day. But then again, you will never know what's going on with any drivers at that point. Drivers, let me know what your thoughts is in the comments below. Big G's got it locked.